Hey guys, Rick here. Today we're going to fix a problem. Got a little bit of blossom in rot. So let me show you here. Oh, these are some romas that I pulled off uh, a couple weeks ago. And I just let them, I haven't cleaned them out of my bed yet. Might not, uh, it's not blight or anything. Anyway, I was doing some research on YouTube and came across a really interesting video by M.I. Gardner. And I'll post it right here. <laughs> so, uh, what he does is fixes it with this cool little thing called tomes or antiacids. So, uh, this is one, this one's 750 milligram that I picked up from a local convenience store. And we're gonna go inside and mix up a concoction. Now, uh, just to let you know, I've already been treating these guys for a couple weeks. Uh, these were Romas, the ones that I pulled off, and these are Romas now. And as you can see, the stuff works absolutely amazing. So we're gonna go mix up another batch and treat these as well. And then I'll also treat my peppers, even though the peppers look okay. Um, and then my squash as well. So, all right guys, let's go inside to my garage and mix up a batch. All right guys, here in my garage now. And uh, what I wanna do is um, go ahead and mix these on up. Now, in my gardener says uh, one tablet per gallon of water, uh, but me liking to be thorough, I use two tablets per gallon. So this tank is a four gallon uh, backpack sprayer and I got my hammer. And what I just use is a regular sandwich bag. I got eight of them in there and I will just start smashing. And I'll just keep smashing until, until a, a really fine powder. So really quick, uh, breaks it all down. And at this point, we will take um, my backpack sprayer, we'll go ahead and fill it on up with four gallons of water. And I will dump this on in. Um, actually, what I like to do is just take a, a gallon jug uh, and uh, put that on in, kind of really mix it in really well before I put it in because it's a lot easier to mix a gallon and dilute it, it uh, before it is four gallons. So. Uh, we'll take this on outside, get it filled up, and uh, we'll be back um, when I'm getting ready to spray. Alright guys, be back in just a few. Alright guys, so got about three and a half gallons, just so three and a qu three quarters of water in here. And I got my uh, antacids in this uh, mason jar, and I've just been shaking it while I was filling. So I think it is pretty much mixed up pretty well so at this point I will just pour that on off into there and that should turn a nice dark color <clears throat> so that is eight antacid tablets uh, for four gallons of water so basically two per gallon and then I will uh, put the top one and then I will give this another shake and then we will be ready to spray so, now, joke, it gets a little heavy with uh, all the water, and that's why I like to pre-mix pre it, or pre-shake uh, it up in uh, a gallon jug or a uh, mason jar, just something that's uh, not as heavy. So, <clears throat> all right, guys, at that point, I think we're ready. So, let me get this guy strapped on my back, and we'll head on over to the garden. All right, all mixed up, ready to spray. Don't know if you can see my backpack, but it's on there. Er, Ghostbusters. <laughs> okay, uh, so I just used my little hand pump here to get it all pumped up there in a the little nozzle. So it's a really wide spray nozzle. And then at this point, I just come and I do a filer spray 
on all my uh, all my leaves, and then whatever's left over, I just pour it on off into the into the uh, root system. So, uh, what an acid is is uh, calcium carbonate, and blossom end rot is a calcium deficiency, if you will. So that really uh, gives it a quick shot uh, for. If your soil is uh, calcium deficient and your plant's just not getting what it needs, so um, the antacids uh, really do a great job with that. Breaking down uh, eggshells uh, is another good source, except you want to get it, you want to get this problem taken care of as quickly as possible. So unless you grind up eggshells really fine and then able to put it onto the uh, spiular spray then uh, I just suggest Tums and then uh, use your eggshells throughout the year. Yeah, if you have them, uh, what I normally do is treat at the beginning of the year with eggshells, but I just haven't been eating a lot of eggs this year. So, um, and I guess that's probably the difference there. So, all right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up here. Just wanted to show you that. So thanks to MI Gardener for a great video on that one. And uh, we'll be back in about a month or so. Actually, these, some of these are probably going to start turning red. So we'll go with it from there. And I'll definitely do a garden update between now and then anyway. So <laughs> a lot of stuff going on here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next video. Later.